Hi there! There are dozens of videos on YouTube where people make things using washing machine motors, but I've never seen anything like this mini grinder here. What I like most about this grinder is the fact that you can practically make it out of random things you find in your garage. Obviously, it doesn't hold enough power for the big job, but it certainly makes for a decent sharpener. You can see that there's a gas lift, and rollers are put together and sealed. I also came across these vice. Take a look at them. They're pretty simple, so why not make a thing like that? And because you can move its jaw, you can put all sorts of parts in it. There are many ways in which you can use a puncher or a drill. All you gotta do is use your imagination. Look at these guys, for example. They're being very inventive with their tools. Also, it makes the process more fun. Working alone is never easy. Although, there's a very simple and easy way you can erect the walls alone. All you need is a big piece of wood, a jenny, and a block. You can clearly see that there's a thrust with a jib at the bottom there. Clearly, it's super simple, like all genius things. Now, here's something every carpenter will appreciate. Not a bad improvement for a sawing machine. What you'll need is a profile pipe and a piece of plywood. It's got special kind of core that ensures there isn't any backlash. If you're accustomed to working with thin type of elements, you might be interested in getting a little something like this. There's a rubber pad that will keep your stencils in place at all times. If you like unconventional ways of making barbecue, then maybe you'd like to make this kind of tan door. It's simple, it holds the warmth very well, and it doesn't require too much wood. Alright, that's all for now. If you want to check out full videos, you'll find the links below. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.